boys and girls, it's Mrs. Manafo. Today's lesson is all about finding the mean. Now, what do we mean by the word mean? We don't mean an angry little guy over here. What we mean by the word mean is the average amount in a set of data. So what I want you to do in the vocabulary section of your homework sheet in box two, I want you to copy the definition of mean as the average amount in a set of data. Now we're going to learn how do I find the mean. What you need to do is add up all the numbers that are given to you and you need to divide that sum by the actual amount of numbers that you added up. So please write that, the steps for finding the mean, in box number two of your homework sheet as well. All right, let's move into our first example. During the basketball game, Jack scores 10 points, Sophie scores 8 points, and Ben scores 6 points. What is the mean score of points during the game? So we're going to remind ourselves to find the mean, you add up all the numbers, and then divide by the amount of numbers that were given to you in the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and underline my important information using my problem solving word strategy skills. So I have 10 points, 8 points, and 6 points. So what I need to do with all those numbers when I'm finding the mean is I need to do my very first step, which is to add all the numbers that were given to me. So I'm going to add up 10, 8, and 6. And when we start in our ones column, we add up 0 plus 8 equals 8, and 8 plus 6 equals 14. We put down our 4, and we carry our 1. And then we move to our tens place. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So now I've found the sum of all of the points that the three people scored by adding up those numbers. So I've done my first step. Now I move to my second step. I need to divide this number by the amount of numbers that were given to me. So I need to take 24 and create a division problem. So I need to ask myself, how many sets of numbers were in the problem? And if we count, we have Jack's score of 10, Sophie's score of 8, and Ben's score of 6. So that's three people, or three scores, that we were dealing with. So I'm going to be dividing my sum, 24, by 3, because I have three separate sets of numbers. All right, and now we move to our long division steps. If you need to, and I encourage you to do this, please make sure that you're putting your steps for long division on top of your page, which are, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Division, multiplication, subtraction, check, and bring down. All right, now we move to our first step. We ask, does 3 go into the first number of our dividend? Does 3 go into 2? The answer is no. So we pull in our next number. How many times does 3 go into 24? Goes in 8 times. Then we multiply. 8 times 3 equals 24. Then we subtract. And we have 0. There are no other numbers to bring down. 3 does not go into 0. And if we know anything about our multiplication and division fast facts, we know that 24 divided by 3 gives us a perfect score of 8. So therefore, we can then say that 8 is the mean number of points, or the average number of points scored during the game. And what that means is about how many points each person scored. So even though they didn't score exactly the same, altogether they about scored 8 each. Alright, now it's time for you to try one on your own. All right, at Frankie's Fun Park, Chris won 25 tickets, Smith won 32 tickets, and Mike won 21 tickets. Taylor won 18 tickets. What is the mean number of tickets they won? And if you need to, you can go back and look on your homework sheet for the steps for solving a problem when you're trying to find the mean or average. And good luck solving this problem in box number three of your homework sheet. If 
you still have questions about finding the mean or you have comments or strategies, something maybe you've tried on your own that helped you solve this problem, please put those in box number four and we'll discuss them in class tomorrow. You've been flipped with Mrs. Manafo. Thank you.